Hello, my friends, and welcome to Cafe Stiflerd. We are back in the House of Stiflerd Let's Play series, episode three. That's I'm here in the Badlands in front of my house. And if you caught the last episode, then you will notice that there are some little differences here in my inventory. I've been busy. I've got Arachnosphobia, Gudanax, which is a fun little play on words from my past, Glimmer Axe, and then just Diamond Shovel. That's right, I have enchanted tools now. And there are also some changes around here. I've moved some stuff around, I've got a little wheat farm, got some trees moved. What's been going on? The, since the last episode, I took a little bit of time. I got an enchanting room. I found a ton of cows. I went out hunting for a few hours and was looking for some cows and I found those. So I've got the enchanting growing. I've got an anvil, got uh, some more chests set up, went into the nether and even got a few items there. And I spent a bit of time down in the mines again. You know, just generally getting getting as many supplies as I could ahead of time because today we're going to be changing up some things. So I'm taking some advice from a couple of viewers. Basically take this entire thing down today and rebuild it with a new color palette. Well, not entirely new. It's just going to be changed up a little bit. Get rid of some of the cobblestone, have a new structure here. I've got an idea for what I want an arch to look like. And we're also going to be cleaning out this area here and filling it up with water, making it actually look like the river is continually flowing. I'll probably do a little bit of clearing over there as well to keep that water flowing. And I have a couple of ideas for some farms that I'd like to start on because this world is going to turn into something that's pretty cool in the future. And I'm going to need some good automated farms to keep me going uh, without too much gathering of materials. So I've got the wheat there. I also planted some kelp over here. I know I did quite a lot of stuff off camera, but I, I just wanted to get things going so that we can actually have a bit of fun and make some progress on these builds. So first things first, I need to get taken down this structure. So I am going to start on that, and I'll actually make that the first time lapse of today. We'll just do a little short one. I'm going to take down this structure, and then I'm going to lay out the idea for the next structure that is going to go here and tell you what I plan on doing with it. All right, let's, uh, let's get this going then. Now that that is done, what exactly do I have going on here? Well, I think that I want my home to be right in there. I know that it's already been my home, but I think I want my long-term home to be in there, at least for the next few episodes. So I'm not going to be worrying too much about leaving and finding another place to live. Instead, we're going to use this Badlands to our advantage. There are a few different farms that will work really well in the Badlands compared to some other biomes. And especially because of the space that we have, the lack of mobs that are going to be spawning, like passive mobs, and also the color. It just looks really nice. So I'm going to build my home right in here. And for that, I want to have a little bit of a nicer entrance. And I have a plan for that. We're gonna start off here with two pillars that go up 
on both sides, separated by an 11 block gap with an arch in the middle. And that is going to be the doorway that opens up into a fairly nice sized little house here. And then that house will empty back into this area here. So we'll be able to get to our mine from inside of the house that we have built. And so once we're done with that, I still wanna have the water flowing around in front here. Obviously it's gonna be you know, shrunk just a bit uh, as far as where the water goes. Originally I was gonna have it come over here, but I think I'm just gonna have it go out this way now. And then we're going to start utilizing some of the space around here for some additional farms. And we're going to get to that a little bit later. For right now, though, I think I should go ahead and start building this thing. So I have a few different blocks that I want to use. And this is where the advice from you guys came in, and which I appreciate so much. But I think that I want to do things just slightly different. You may have noticed when I was taking down the other structure that I was actually stripping some of these oak logs. So if you take your, this is a new 1.13 mechanic. If you take a log and you right click it, you actually get a stripped log. And I've got some more inside here. So let me go ahead and grab that. I've got that and actually start placing these down. So what I want to do is have a base with the stripped oak, lo oak logs, just like that. And then it's gonna come up, I think three blocks, sounds right. So one, two, three, if I can actually place it. One, two, three, all right. There we go. And then in the front, I will, where is my, there it is. I'm still going to have a bit of cobble in this build, but not nearly as much as what I had before. So we'll put a little bit of cobble right here along the front, and that's going to go just along the entryway here as well. And then, well, let's get some dirt. Man, my, <laughs> my, uh, my inventory is a little bit uh, disorganized here. I need to fix that. I'm gonna come up here. And then here, I am once again going to place a line of these stripped oak, dark oak logs. This is gonna keep coming up that way. And then I need to fix that. And it's nighttime, that's okay, I'll be done here in just a second. We'll put up a couple of torches here. All right, and then the last thing that happens here is I will open this up in just a moment, but I'll use that same orange glazed terracotta that I was going to use before, and we'll break that up. And yeah, I think that that is about right. So now what we'll have here is these two pillars that go up pretty high, and they'll be overlooking the area, the region and then the archway in the middle. So I'm going to increase the height of this up a couple of layers with the multiple floors, and then we'll see how that looks. You know, I think that that looks significantly better than what I was building before. And I hope that you guys agree. Let me know definitely if, if there's something that I should even be doing different than this. But I think that that stripped dark oak log there just makes it feel a little bit older and I can also add in a little bit more color so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to copy this over to the other side and then I'm going to add in the walls before starting on the arch in the middle and by the end of this episode I want to have a roof over the top it's not gonna be a finished roof but it'll be a roof at the very least and that is now done so what I need to do next is put a bit of a pillar on the top here, and actually it's going to extend all the way across. So these two towers, kind of like an Arc de Triomphe in Paris. So we'll have an arch that goes across, and then up on the top here will be like a connector of some kind, like a, a walkway. I'm not sure what you would really call it, but yeah. So 
I'm going to do that. We'll, we'll see if I can find some way to have that walkway area overhang a bit and stretch across this expanse. And yeah, let's see what I can come up with. Okay, well, that gives us a little bit more progress. We got both of the towers up on both sides. I've got the platform across the top. And I even started playing around a little bit with, you know, seeing how this arch would work. It's not exactly perfect yet, but it's getting there. We'll step back and take a look. Yeah. I, I think it's kind of nice to have the, the extra orange and turquoise that's in there, but I need to get that shaped properly. So I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit more, maybe in a creative testing world or something. And then on the inside here, I want to actually have some gray block of some kind, maybe a light gray wool, or maybe even like andesite or something with some kind of a framework that holds up the platform there in the center. It's not gonna be straight open, right? There's gotta be some kind of a roof right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that in the future. And uh, and then and then there will be some stairs here that go up and and the actual door will be right in this space right there right about there but just up a little bit so quite a lot of work left to do there I'm gonna have to get some more materials because I am <laughs> running low but I have more things that I need to take care of so next project that is on the list I want to clear this out so we. We need to have the water flowing around this way. I want to connect it up with that little bit of water there and connect it out there. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this out real quick and add in the water. And then I need to work on a farm. So that should be enough time for the rest of this wheat to grow. And then we'll start talking about an automatic wheat farm as well as looking at this kelp a little bit more. So. This might actually take a few minutes here because I want to go a little bit deep, but it might be a good opportunity for another third person time lapse. Well, it looks like I have a problem. I got all that cleared out, but the water physics are not what I expected at all. So I had seen a number of videos where people were testing the water physics to see how it would all work. And for whatever reason, this water is not behaving the same way that I expected it to. So now, it looks like I am going to have to do this kind of a slow way. I, in fact, don't entirely know what I need to do. Um, what I might be able to do is fill this entire area in with dirt. Not, not down below, but just one layer of dirt. Put water across the top and then dig out the dirt. And then the water should fall down underneath. I should have done that before I cleared everything out here, but, you know, I guess I didn't quite understand the water physics of 1.13. That's okay. That's okay. We can get it fixed now. So I'm going to do that, and I think that we're good on the time lapses. I've had enough time lapses for this video. Uh, looks like there's a ravine down here as well. Another ravine. In fact, I wonder if I've been in this one already. Probably, it doesn't look like I have. Oh, it's just a, a small one, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll fill in one layer of dirt all the way across the top, 
and then I will place water source blocks on every piece of dirt and then I'll go underneath and break all of that dirt so that the water flows and we'll see how that does. Alrighty. And that settles it. It is all done. I filled out everything with dirt. I put the water source blocks on top and actually it kind of filled in itself, uh, which was pretty cool. I kind of wanted to record that, but I missed it. It was really nice. It was like a wave of water flowing across, which was sweet. And then I went through and I placed in some kelp and some seagrass as well. I didn't realize that you have to use shears on seagrass. And uh, so I punched a few of them and got nothing. So keep that in mind. You got to put the uh, use shears on your seagrass. Something else that was kind of weird while I was doing this is that the, the blocks were not floating to the top. I'm not sure. It, yeah, like that one right there. It's just kind of hanging out there at the bottom. And I'm not entirely sure why, but uh, maybe it's just one of those snapshot bugs. So there's only one last thing that I want to do in this episode, and then I think that we're going to call it a day. The thing that I want to do is fill out this little humble farm. And the way that I'm going to do that is actually placing blocks on top of water. And I'll have a bit of wheat kind of like some nice little wheat fields going along, which I think will look kind of nice. So it should be able to be saturated because of the water that's underneath it. I think that that is how that's gonna work. Uh, we'll have to see, I'll test it out. I'm not sure, I've been kind of running into a few bugs here. What I'll do is I'll place in some water right there so it'll flow down. Uh-oh. Yeah, this has been another thing. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? How do we fix it? Uh, I guess I could do that. Okay, <laughs> that works. In the future, I'm gonna put some pistons. I'm gonna put a line of pistons behind here with water behind it. So the water will flow out and break all of the wheat all the way down to here. And then we'll have some uh, kind of semi-automatic wheat farm, which will be pretty sweet. And I definitely need that because I'm already running low on food and I don't have anywhere that I can go. I gotta go kind of far away to be able to get some food. All right, I'm talking too much. I'm kind of just rambling on and saying, uh, and, and. So I'm gonna do this and get it all set up and then I will be right back to show you the final product. And now we are done with that. So. I've got a little bit of weed here. <laughs> I don't have much, but it'll grow up soon and then I'll get the seeds planted throughout and then we'll work on doing the pistons in the next episode. I'm also in the next episode, hopefully going to have that finished and start working on the actual house itself, the building. And then I wanna do one other farm. So I've got plenty of food here between the kelp and the wheat which is going to be great, but I want to do an AFK fishing area. And I'm not exactly sure where I want to put that. I might put it inside of the base somewhere and you know maybe clear out a little bit of space inside as well. But that's kind of the plan right now is to get a few of the essential farms done over the next several episodes. Automation farms, maybe I've got some pumpkin in there, so maybe I'll get a pumpkin farm going. And just generally, you know, try and figure out a few things so that I can have a sustainable life here. Uh, that is going to be a bit of a challenge because I am in the Mesa, but I think that it's very, very doable. And then after a few episodes of getting some farms together, we're going to start working on some pretty major projects that I am really excited about. And you guys might enjoy those as well. So stick around. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and like and subscribe. Check uh, out the links down in the description below if you want to download this world and play along with me or join me on the Discord server. I would love to have you here. Also, let me know if some of these little bugs that I'm finding are fixed or not because I'm in 18W20C and I thought these bugs were fixed, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see you next time. All right. Thanks again for watching, guys. Peace.